Hey guys, what's up? So today is going to be a vlog. I'm vlogging on my phone right now because um, I left my camera at home. Ooh, there is wind. The wind is blowing, hold on. But yeah, today is going to be a vlog and I'm on my hair because this is my modeling wig. And if this is my modeling wig, then guess what? I'm gonna be modeling today. <laughs> um, I really just pop this on when I just need something quick to put on and I don't have time to like glue things down or whatever. And I also really do wanna take a break from um, gluing my hair down. And in between my installs, I like to spend like at least a week without a frontal and then I, another week with the frontal. So it's like on and off. So yeah, so today I am going to be shooting and I'm going to take you guys with me while I'm shooting so you guys can see the day in the life of, I guess a model. Um, with fantasy model whatever I don't know what I'm gonna name this video so that's basically what it's going to be and I am basically here so I am going to see you guys inside <laughs> all right you guys so that is the end of today's vlog well not today's vlog but that's the end of my shooting day um a lot of people love to be like oh how modeling is so easy and granted it does have like an easy sense to it i guess but it is a lot of work like putting on clothes taking off clothes posing fixing your hair fixing your makeup posing taking off clothes posing again like it's a lot and like after like repeatedly doing it over and over again it can get kind of annoying just think of it as like when you're shopping and you're trying on clothes like i hate shopping because of the fact that when i model clothing i have to take on and put on clothes so much but just think about like when you're going out and you're shopping and you have like a whole bunch of clothes and you try on all of them just to leave with one and then you do that repeatedly at like six to seven stores and then when you look at the time, you don't spend eight hours outside shopping. So that's basically what it is. Um, now I'm about to go to a car dealership because um, I didn't tell you guys, well, I didn't tell anyone, honestly, I didn't even say anything on Instagram. Um, I am in the process of looking for, well, in the process of buying a car. Um, so I 
have an appointment to go to a car dealership. I'm waiting on my Uber right now. And yeah, I'm going to see if I like this car. I've been looking for about three months or so for this car, so I'm hoping that I get it. Um, it's been like, it's been like three times that I've had money in the funds to buy my car, but things always pop up, whether it's work, family, something always, I don't mean I say work, whether it's family or something like that, something always pops up where I have to use that money for something else. So this time I thank God for quarantine because I'm able to save and I saved so much before quarantine, but I was able to like basically, basically complete, I couldn't think of the word. I was, I'm able to finally complete the amount that I wanted to put down as a deposit. So I had one car in mind and now I'm looking at a totally, completely different car. And I really want you guys to guess and see what type of car you think that I'm looking for. I would like you guys to leave those comments down below because I feel like you guys can understand my taste. And if you understand my taste, then you know what type of car I'm going for. Um, it is a dream car. It's a car that I've always loved since I was younger. My dad had one. And when I was like in his car, it was always like, yo, I want to get this car. And then when I got older, he sold it. And I was so mad because I wanted to have that car. Like on my 18th birthday or whenever I got my license, I was like, I want that car. And then he sold it. So now I am just happy that I'm in, like I have the funds to buy my car and purchase my car almost fully, not 100%. I'm going to have to finance it. But I would let you guys know all the details of like how I'm going about it and everything like that. And some tips and tricks I can give you guys on um, purchasing a car and stuff like that. So yeah, um, my appointment is at six o'clock. It's five, about to be like 5.30. Well, my appointment is at 6.30, but it's about 15 minutes away from here. So I'm just gonna go there a little early cause I'm gonna leave cause I'm tired. I only have like four hours of sleep last night for an eight hour shoot. Like, uh, ugh, I don't even know how I'm doing it, but yeah. So when I get to the car dealership, depending on you know everything i'll let you guys see my car what type of car i'm looking for my eye is on two cars okay so but the one the dealership that i'm going to i think they only have the one car there but they may have my other car who knows i could just end up spending and looking around but i just want to see like get a lot of information and get like logistics of like how much i'm looking at because when you're looking online they always have like a, a certain price but that price is before like dealership fee taxes registration titles and all of that and when you add all of that you're looking at an extra four thousand on top of whatever price that is so if you guys are looking for a car always keep that in mind like add an extra three to four thousand on top of whatever price they have on the um, internet because you're going to pay that extra four thousand you can try to talk it down and talk down like the base price um, with your dealer and hopefully that'll work so that'll bring it down a couple of notches but you will be paying an extra four thousand dollars okay all right so um i am about to head out my uber is about to be here so i'll see you guys at the dealership the next day hey guys so my hair looks a mess but yeah my hair really looks a mess um i just came from shooting again <clears throat> I've been shooting three days this week. Well, I was shot three days this week. And yesterday I didn't take you guys with me to the dealerships or anything because I was still trying to figure out like what type of car I wanted to get. Well, not what type of car I wanted to get. I know what type of car I wanted, but I'm holding you guys like this because this is hard. But um, yeah, I was trying to figure out what type of car, I mean, not what type of car I wanted, but like where to get my car because so many different places have different prices. And I just wanted to make sure that like, um, whatever I was getting or wherever I was getting it from I was getting the best deal so now we're just kind of going through different dealers trying to find a dealer whose price is reasonable um, a car which mileage isn't crazy for the year that it was made um, yeah and no accidents that's the third thing no accident so if it fits those three like criteria then I'm good for it but a lot of places are marking up their prices really high I feel like so it's either I'm gonna take an L or I'm gonna find a place and be really lucky to get a car at the price so pray for me if I go anywhere if I see anything I'll try to record as much as possible but I really don't want to record <laughs> He 
he was about to kill us. <laughs> but I really don't want to be like going into places and just recording and stuff. But I'm gonna record as much as possible. I was going to bring my camera with me, but I forgot my camera when I was getting ready to go to the shoot today. But yeah, just really just shopping around, looking around to make sure that these places have my car and have it at reasonable prices. I have two places in mind right now that have both the um, Q50 and uh, I just told you guys what car I wanted to get, but whatever. I'm, I'm looking for the Q50 and the C300. Um, so I have two places in mind that have them at reasonable prices, but we just want to check and see if there's any place, like anywhere else that may have them at better prices. So I'll keep you guys posted. Okay guys, so I am at the dealership now. I'm really actually making a video this time. But I'm at the dealership and I am I'm sitting in my car, but I'm torn between two cars. And logically the car that I'm sitting in right now with it being 2K less than the car that I want, I feel like logically speaking, I should take it. And it also has, um, what is this thing called? Ambient lighting, which I really wanted anyways. And I was going to add into the car after I got it. Um, it just has, and it's a year newer, right? But now let's go into the car that I wanted, okay? Let's turn this off. Oh, it is not a push start. I still gotta pop the key in, okay? Let's start there. Excuse me. <laughs> so now let's go into the car that I wanted. Okay, they're both white um they it's just that the one that i wanted is a year older it's an automatic so you know it's a push to start um and it also has customization inside of it as well let me show you guys oh this is the car that i wanted like it it looks light i mean it looks um beige on camera but it's crystal gray and it's crystal gray with black interior so i'm gonna flip well i'm gonna stop it i'm gonna flip the camera so you guys can see the the dashboard and on all the customizations okay so this is the customizations that the person before um did on it just bling this out blinks out the light right here but it's tan well you, now you can get a better idea of the color like this just looks so sleek like it just fits me so oh this like this flash gotta go but yeah it fits me so well i love it it has um the car has 4k less um mileage than the, the previous one um they both have panoramic roofing and everything um this one does not have ambient lighting but like i said i was willing to put the ambient lighting anyway but another thing about this is that the front bumper a piece of the front bumper is missing so i would have to pay to get that fixed so when I think about the expenses that I will be spending on the car, this will be a larger purchase in a sense um, because of the 2K price difference and the other additions that I want to add to the car. So I just feel like logically my 2017 would be the better option, okay? And it's actually two years newer than what I actually wanted. I was trying to get a 2015 car or a 2016 car, which is this, but it's two years newer, well, three years old now at this point, and it's 2K less. So it is what it is. The other car, that's what I'm getting. And then it also has like the speakers, that's, I don't know the name of these speakers, but I mean, the reviews that I've been doing, um, the speakers that's in the 2017, those are, I don't know, I guess better or whatever, but it's like a higher upgrade and stuff. So yeah that other car has that so as much as i love this interior whatever i guess like when i get my family car which you know we'll talk about it when i get there i can get my white interior actually that doesn't make sense to get a white interior with a family car because you're gonna have kids and the kids with white interior is not it but i guess uh who knows like i'm about to be money making mommy anyway so who knows my second car could be a white interior you feel me a coupe a nice coupe actually my coupe will have red interiors my coupe will have red interiors but yeah i'm gonna show you guys the outside of the car when the car is like cleaned up and everything um i'm pretty sure we're gonna have to wait here for registrations and all this other stuff but we're just waiting to hear back from like the credit application and all that other stuff because i am financing the car i'm putting a lot down i'm putting more than i'm about more than half down um but i, I will be financing the car so yeah <sighs> i'll update you guys Okay. Three days later. Okay, 
Okay, guys. So, I did update you guys on on the car journey and everything that I was doing with the car and trying to find my car. There's a whole story, a whole backstory of what went down with my car and how, like oh, a whole process. I'm gonna have. I'm gonna do like a separate story time like after this reveal and whole getting the car thing but this has been like almost a week process like a five day process of trying to get my car and I feel like I finally got a car at the you know decent mileage and at a price that I feel like is reasonable for the car and the age and everything so I'm really really happy because it's pretty much like my dream car right now I'm test driving it and it's like ah oh, feels like what are you doing sir calm down um i'm test driving it and it just feels like a dream like i want to cry right now because of this car i look crazy it's been a long day i'm hot i probably got a tan or so because it's been blazing 93 degrees today um but yeah so that's what i want to update you guys on and just let you know because i know i haven't been doing very well with the vlogging and let you guys know the whole journey of going to multiple dealers but I've had so many different like breakdowns from trying to find this car crying like literally bawling my eyes out headaches and everything oh we're here right here we're here already yeah. bawling crying my eyes out for this car um and I feel like I finally got it and I feel like this this is definitely going to be the car that I am going to take with me and call mine so I'm happy um so yeah if I go with this car, I'll let you guys, you know, I'll bring you guys in when this comes to like signing and everything and just see me, you know, officially sign some papers, some papers for this car. Okay, what is he doing, baby? And then, yeah, I'll see you guys. Yay, excited. <laughs>